The damage that illegal mining has done to the Ghanaian landscape is even worse than hitherto realized. He narrated the experience of an airline pilot who had flown many times between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. And I quote what the airline pilot said. The contrast between the agrarian landscape and that of Ghana as one flies across the border is beyond belief. The Ghanaian landscape is pockmarked with these ugly craters. The forests are gone. Many of the farms are also decimated or fractured. From the sky, it looks exactly as if the landscape had been deliberately bombed. Ladies and gentlemen, drones flown by the Interministerial Committee gave similar images. It is estimated that 10% of our surface area is degraded, which is about 23,000 square kilometers or 2.4 million hectares. Again, it is estimated that it will take about $12,000 to reclaim and restore one hectare. It follows that Ghana will need about $29 billion to reclaim degraded land. Fellow Ghanaians, these terrible effects of illegal mining would be bad enough if all things were equal. But we are now have a situation where humanity as a whole is facing the problem of climate change. Climate change is real, and these effects are felt in Ghana. The harmful effects of this phenomenon include loss of vegetation cover, loss of farm and pasture land, increasing incidence of wildfires and drying water bodies, as well as coastal erosion from rising sea levels, causing damage to buildings and infrastructure. <laughs> 